Folks, the meeting will return to order. Item B16, nominee diversity, page 23. There's a parliamentary, okay, the member will come to the lectern and state their parliamentary inquiry. Uh, Lisa Paddle, if we wanted to make a motion to lay it on the table until a specific time, is that Post permissible? But let me finish, I'll tell her. Sorry, state the question, please. If I wanted to make a motion to lay it on the table, not indefinitely, but until a specific time or a specific motion had been considered first, is this permissible? The question the member is trying to the motion the member is trying to make is to postpone to a certain time. You wish to postpone this to some other part of the agenda? Yes, until okay. after EPH has been considered, because that changes All right. the, the nature. Is the member moving to postpone consideration of uh, item B16, yes. nominee diverse? Let me finish stating it oh, before sorry. you say so. Is the member moving to postpone consideration of nominee diversity? until after the consideration of E Pluribus Hugo? Yes. Is there a second to the member's motion? A majority being necessary. Those in favor of postponing this motion until after the consideration of E Pluribus Hugo, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the affirmative appears to have it. The affirmative has it, and nominee diversity, item B16, is moved to after the consideration of E Pluribus Hugo. Uh, yes, Ms. Secor, come to the microphone. Nobody's going to hear you. This is Kate Secor, a uh, point of personal privilege. I'd like to point out that that means we're probably not going to get to it. That's not a, that's debate. That was debate on the postponement, honestly. That, it doesn't matter. The chair, the, the chair needs to make an observation here to members. For what it's worth, we have actually completed all of the things that our rules require us to do. From this point forward in this meeting, the motion to adjourn sine die, to close the session entirely without even considering any of the further items in the agenda, adoptable by a majority vote, is in order. And any proposal on the agenda that has not been considered when we adjourn sine die dies. Is that clear? Yes. Very well. For what purpose does the member rise? I'm trying to figure out what the member is making. Would the member come to the microphone and state his motion so I can try and figure out what he's trying to do? Not the committee, it's the business. I committee. know what he's saying. I move that we uh, close this. Nick Thomas Monahan. I move that we close this uh, business meeting since, as you said, all necessary uh, motions and. Is the member moving to adjourn sine die? Yes. Very well. Sine die is a parliamentary term meaning without date. It would close the Worldcon business meeting, it would end this meeting, it would end tomorrow's meeting, it would kill any proposals that are left on the agenda. This is a debatable motion. Is there a second to the member's motion? Would the member like to debate his motion? This is a, uh, the chair, uh, uh, five minutes, I believe, is because of, uh, because of amendments. Would the, chair, would the member like to debate his motion? Thomas Monaghan, the reason I wish to end this uh, meeting is we have covered everything needed and some of the motions, resolutions in the future are rushed and unorganized and it would just extend indefinitely from what I've heard and what I think will happen. And uh, thank you very much. A speech against, I'm trying to pick somebody who hasn't had much of an opportunity. Yeah, how about, yes? I haven't called on this side of the room much. In the back, yes, you. Pablo. Ooh, the parliamentarian has advised me of something I really hadn't thought of because when we scheduled items specifically at the preliminary business meeting, 
uh, we made them, although we didn't actually use that word, we made them general orders. And, uh, that, and we have to discharge all general orders before we can adjourn. Uh, I believe the parliamentarian is raising a po uh, uh, point of order that the motion to adjourn CNA Day is not actually in order at this time. The chair uh, slaps himself on the wrist <laughs> and rules the motion to adjourn CNA Day is not in order at this time. Uh, Ms. Hayes, would you come to the microphone and speak? I would like to move to adjourn until tomorrow's meeting as we are on a very tight time schedule today and I would like to have a life. <laughs> there is a second to the motion. Um, I would like to ask the, me the members if we may momentarily set that motion on the table. I, want, uh, I have a, a request that I'd forgotten about earlier here that I really want to take up. Uh, thank you. Is there any objection? Please give the chair some... Okay. It's, it is 1148. 1148. Okay. Um, I've had several people uh, come to me with variations of this motion. The chair would like to ask unanimous consent that when we adjourn the final business meeting, that we adjourn in memory of Bobby Dufoe and Peggy Ray Sapienza. Is there any objection to this motion? No. They're hearing none, obje none. When we adjourn tomorrow, we will adjourn in memory of Bobby Dufoe and Peggy Ray Sapienza. No, no, no. Okay. The chair we'll does remind that. members that the the the, the CART system is not an official record of this meeting. It's uh, Dufault is D-U-F-A-U-L-T, like Dufault. Is that, uh, right. Yes. Like, like Dufault, not default. <laughs> and, yes, that's right. it's D-U capital F, all right. Uh, but, again, that is not an official record of the meeting. And, again, before I take up Ms. Hayes's motion, the chair would like to express his a great appreciation to our interpreters, both the sign language and CART, for the very hard job they have. <laughs> Particularly because we use technical terms that they are not necessarily familiar with. <laughs> and, we ask, and we thank you for putting up with us. On the, motion, and in, on the motion to adjourn, is there any debate on this? I, God, I hope not. <laughs> A parliamentary inquiry. Would the member come to the microphone and state his parliamentary inquiry, please? <laughs> Todd Dashoff, uh, could I just... Sorry. Could I just have a confirmation from the chair that this means we will pick, off, pick up tomorrow where we are leaving off right now? Yes. Thank you. When we, pick, when we come back, we will pick up with, uh, the next one would be best series. It would, no. of course. Nominee diversity. No, no. no we no. just, postpone. we postponed it. We Sorry. postponed yeah. diversity to follow yeah. EPH, yeah. relative to okay. EPH. Yeah. It would, of course, be in order at the time we come up tomorrow. That we'll, the next item on the agenda is going to be best series. That's where we are. It would be in order at that time to suspend the rules and take up something out of its proper order. The general orders are not special orders. They can be taken up earlier as well as later. All right. Is there any objection to adjourning at this time? Uh, yes. yes, there's an objection. Are you wanting to debate this? Uh, take, the, you, you take the wireless microphone to him, if you would, please. This is an accessibility issue, please. On the motion to adjourn, this is, a, this is a speech against adjourning. The motion to adjourn is maybe always in order, but made in this form, it was debatable. Michael Stern, and uh, this is actually a parliamentary inquiry. Parliament, this member will state his parliamentary inquiry. Yes, uh, doesn't the word adjourn mean finish the meeting? This should be a recess. No, I would have thought after this many days, you all would have figured this out. <laughs> adjourn, in this sense, means to adjourn each day's meeting or each individual meeting. To close the entire series of Worldcon meetings is to adjourn, and the technical term is sine die, S-I-N-E-D-I-E, sine die, meaning without date. The motion to adjourn sine die is in order once all of the general orders have been discharged. We adjourn each day. 
the recesses are what we hold as the short breaks in, in, within a current meeting. Is this clear? Yes. Is there any objection to adjourning at this time? Yes. There are. There are objections. All those in favor? Oh. A parliamentary inquiry. The member, the, this member will come to the microphone and state their parliamentary inquiry. The chair was not actually intending to hold a parliamentary rules seminar. <laughs> Bill Taylor, the chair made a ruling earlier, just a few moments ago, that the uh, motion to adjourn CDDA was out of order because of general orders pending. The chair has just stated that a motion to adjourn is always in order, I was... which would have left a general order hanging. <laughs> My question is then, which is it? There is a book called Time Enough for Love. <laughs> Some of you may have heard of it. It's by an author that some of you have possibly read known as Robert Heinlein. The character, the, Lazarus Long, is in this book. And there are excerpts from the notebooks of Lazarus Long in Time Enough for Love. Which, it always inclu which includes the motion to adjourn is always in order, as a colloquialism. In an incredibly technical sense, it's not true. <laughs> the chair was attempting to be jocular, but obviously failed entirely. <laughs> On the motion to adjourn, all those in favor of adjourning, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, raise your hands. The affirmative has it. We are adjourned until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning.